Hey, welcome to today's webinar on how to reconfigure, repurpose, and reimagine your property using virtual reality. We'll be demonstrating how virtual reality can help you with unique projects where property needs to be changed, or you need to visualize the future state of a building before construction begins, or it needs to be renovated. Uh, Chris Say, our art director, is on the line with me, and my name is Mike Lurg, our CTO. We've spent our entire careers using uh, virtual reality to create cutting-edge applications but we've never seen it used as prevalently as we do today. So VR is easy to use, is accessible on your phone, and costs less than traditional renderings and floor plans. Uh, if you'll note in the user interface for the webinar, there's a spot to add questions. Uh, feel free to post them at any time, and we will then answer them uh, at the end of the presentation. So one of the key things uh, post-pandemic is that uh, it's accelerated the market changes that were already underway uh, as well as some uh, additional ones. In this webinar, we'll consider, we'll uh, cover uh, current market conditions, talk about the impact on demand and the shifts in usage, as well as how VR provides efficient and effective solutions to address the market changes that are occurring. Specifically, we'll go into discuss how VR can reduce risk, cost, time, and help accelerate revenue. So retail had already begun transforming as a result of e-commerce uh, before the pandemic but the pandemic has actually accelerated that change drastically. And it's estimated by the end of 2025 that almost half of mall-based department stores will close. Uh, already last year, 30 retailers had filed for bankruptcy, 10 as of this year alone, uh, almost 10,000 last year, another 10,000 this year, and then 200 department stores have already closed in this year, and another 800 are expected to close by 2025. In terms of the industrial space, uh, new supply, which has surpassed uh, demand two years in a row, will maintain this trend over the next two years. So this upward trend that you're uh, seeing is actually going to continue up uh, for another two years. And uh, uh, it, it's basically a lot of that space is going to be converted from uh, some uh, malls that are going bankrupt or closing up or being changed over to uh, last mile distribution but the amount of e-commerce uh, and shopping online is going up through the roof to drive that. In terms of office space, uh, the net absorption of office space has dropped to a negative 45 million, uh, as you can see right here, um, in this first quarter. The sales volume declined by 7.1 billion over this quarter, and the sublease uh, supply reached 200 million square feet for the first time ever and has risen 65% over the last four quarters. So you can see this vacancy rate is just going up through the roof uh, in terms of office space. And a lot of that is work from home. Um, some uh, co-working lounges are starting to open up in, uh, again, and uh, a lot of people are using that, those techniques rather than moving back into large offices. So given these impacts, the properties in the sectors will need to be reconfigured, repurposed, and reimagined. In the next slides, we'll show you how VR can be used as a time and cost saving solution to attack these problems while reducing risks. So the impact of this, you know, the hotels, uh, many of them that were closed are not reopening. They're gonna need to get repurposed into either um, apartments or condominiums by merging units, uh, doing other types of uses for those spaces. Uh, retail, I can talk about being changed over to a, a localized industrial for the last mile distribution because of the oversupply. Industrial demand is climbing up to the roof. And then uh, we already mentioned the last mile distribution. And then office, you know, the negative impact is uh, quite significant uh, compared to where it was last year. There was last year at this time, there was a lot of questions as to what was going to happen with uh, office uh, properties. But it's becoming more and more clear that the trend of people coming back to the offices is a lot less than what was expected. So, in this particular example for reconfiguring, uh, we have a uh, retail space that uh, this particular uh, Kmart had gone bankrupt a couple years ago. And uh, the client wanted to show the space what it would look like if it was renovated and replaced with a TJ Maxx, a Barnes and Noble, and a PetSmart. And so with this particular scene, uh, this is one of our products called Quick Tour that allows for 3D visualization and VR over the web. As you notice, we're actually in a web page here. And that can then be uh, embedded uh, into a web page or linked uh, through social media 
any marketing media that you use uh, can be um, <clears throat> used uh, to, to, the VR can be used across all of your marketing media content, whether it's traditional or digital media. So in this case, I'm loading up the uh, post renovation layout and we take the roof off. And so it's very easy to see the, the layout of the space. There's three retail spaces going to be on this side. The large Kmart was going to be divided into three. And these other three small uh, tenants were going to stay the same uh, post renovation. In terms of um, reconfiguring, another tool we have is for doing test fits. And in a web page, it gives you the tools to be able to do layouts. So in this space here, you can see this is pre-COVID with people closer than six feet apart. And then being able to do a layout, we uh, merge the conference rooms to make a larger conference room, change the furniture out in the lobby space and space the desks apart so that they're six feet apart from each other and uh, raised the uh, divides between them uh, so that there'd be more separation between employees. In this particular space, this was a gym uh, pre-COVID. During COVID, it's a 12,000 square foot space on the second floor and they had gone bankrupt and closed up. And so the management, uh, retail management firm that was looking to lease that space wanted to target three different industries. One was retail, the second was a medical clinic, and the third was a technical office. And so I'm going to load up the first one. I'll let uh, Chris take over from here. But we're basically showing the three, the same space three different ways so they could target three different industries with that space. Okay. So once again, as Mike stated earlier with the uh, Kmart scene, this is also a quick tour running inside of a web browser important because it's very easy to access, very easy to share. It can be embedded into a website, it can be shared through an email link, uh, and it can be, uh, you know, uh, viewed on any device that has internet uh, access to it, which is very important. So it doesn't matter if it's a, a Mac, a Windows-based computer, or a Linux, it doesn't matter if it's your phone, it doesn't matter if it's your tablet, and uh, it also works uh, with a full head-mounted display, meaning the Oculus Quest or something similar. So you can throw that on and, and virtually tour any property inside of, of our, uh, our quick tours. So let's just take a look at the interface real quick. Uh, and as we see up in the upper right hand corner, we have our easy navigation. Clicking one of the buttons is gonna take us to different viewpoints within the model. So we can just click anywhere we want. And then if we wanna take a look a little bit more, we can drag around and we can orbit, we can pan, we can zoom in zoom out, we have full freedom of movement and control. Uh, but what makes this really special is the ability to take a look at the individual floor plan. And as we can see, this is obviously just an empty vacant space, uh, but it gives you a nice idea of what that empty vacant space is like, uh, along with the support work that's, you know, out inside the uh, space itself. Another thing that's nice is we can take a walkthrough of any one of these properties. So now that we're inside here, the ceiling's on, we can come over here, one click on the ground takes us anywhere we like. Uh, and then if we want to use the buttons over here, those will also take us to predetermined points within the model. And one other thing to point out, which is a, a great feature of the quick tours is the ability to have the auto tour function turned on. So with the press of one button, it's gonna take us throughout the entire model and it's gonna give us almost like a, a movie style uh, playback where it's going to go from camera position to camera position and do that automatically. And this is great if you're giving a presentation to a group, a group of people. Uh, it's really good if you're sharing this with somebody that might be uh, somewhat technically challenged when it comes to uh, interacting with something that's 3D on their computer or on their phone. Uh, so all they have to do is hit the auto tour function or click one of the buttons that are up here in the upper right hand corner. And so now We've seen what the vacant space looks like. Let's take a look at what the medical clinic uh, looks like with the same building and space utilized in a different way. And so you can see here, it's already loading up super quick. We've got a full tour and we're gonna take the roof off, look at the floor plan. And we can see here that now we've got all of the um, examination rooms laid out. We can see where the receptionist desk is. We can zoom in, we can, you know, get a nice overhead view of 
where some of the conference rooms are, where the break room is, and then we can turn around and we can look at it from different aspects and different viewpoints. And you can even see here we've got a video playing inside the conference room here. Uh, but let's once again go on a walk of the space. So we're now inside the medical clinic, and let's say we want to go take a look at what one of the examination rooms looks like. Now, this is super easy for us to do. We can just walk through here. I'll just click on the ground. They'll take us through the door. And then let's go, we'll go behind and there's just, doesn't really matter. They're not here anyway. And then we'll go into one of the rooms here. And so you can see from overhead, we're able to get a, a fantastic understanding of how the entire floor has been laid out. And then we can dive into the floor plan and walk through it as if we were taking a true walk of the space. And now that we've seen what the medical looks like, let's take a look at it once again with a different configuration in the same space in the same building. And what we're going to see now is the tech office. So this is going to be geared a little bit more for, um, obviously, it's going to be geared a lot more for an open space office plan where we can take a look at how the desks are laid out. We can see where the individual office offices are laid out and how they're laid out. We can get a good head count of how many people we can fit into this space. And uh, even better yet, we can jump into it and you know take a look at what the actual finalized design and furnished scheme of this space looks like just with one click. And so we come in here, we'll walk through, and we can see already just how different this is from the medical clinic layout. We're already walking in a different way. We've got everything. Uh, completely different, even though it's the same space, and it really helps to showcase um, how we're utilizing uh, the space uh, to be un unique for each of the personas that we're targeting here. And we'll walk around here to the side. We'll just take a look at the conference room. And the other thing to point out that's really nice about you know these these tours is that with hitting uh, one key on your keyboard that's going to give you a render of that particular um, angle in the scene that you're looking at. So if you do want something for some 2D marketing material, uh, you can capture endless number of images from your screen just by pressing the P key on your keyboard. So you know, we're delivering an interactive 3D model that also doubles up for all your 2D marketing needs. And to expand on that, uh, in some of our multifamily uh, clients, they've been able to pre-lease or pre-sell uh, 95 to 100% of their apartments or condos before construction was complete by using the ability to create unlimited renderings uh, for their website and for the listing pages uh, before construction sometimes started. So one of the things that uh, VR really has a strength for is reimagining a property. In this case, uh, the owner architect of this building was getting ready to sell it. There was a client that was subletting a space and it was Trek bicycles. And they were getting ready to move out and build a new head, regional headquarters in the area. And so the client uh, had us develop three versions of the uh, property. And the first being the, the way it is, the, the as is state of the building, which is the way we're depicting it here. So we can see it kind of has some older style uh, windows, the siding, and uh, the floor plan. And you can see inside. And um, with this, we then did also a version that was completely vacant with just the, the structural elements. So they could see the, the, multi, the part of the possible of what could be done. And then we then did a Trek uh, branded version, which I'll let uh, Chris go into. Okay, so, you know, as Mike was pointing out, the thing that really makes this stand out is the idea of how we're able to take this existing building uh, with the brickwork that's here, the windows that are laid out, and uh, in addition to that, some of the interior um, layout here where we've got, you know, uh, offices around the perimeter of the second floor, and also we've got, a, a you know, blue walls here. How we're able to take all of these elements and then uh, change it and refine it for a much more Trek-inspired marketing campaign. 
So if you wanted to have Trek take your building and your building does not look like it would be a Trek building, well, you want to be able to show it as such. So now we've got Trek uh, branding on the front. We've got it over here in the corner. We've also changed out that very old style brick to something a little bit more modern, clean and inspired to take on the look of the, the Trek branding. And uh, same thing with the windows. We've now removed those uh, very prison-like uh, slatted windows and we've you know, opened it up, made it much more inviting. And then also on the side over here, we've added some additional Trek uh, branding as well as color schemes and uh, some architectural elements that help to show the space off a little bit more uh, towards the line of a, of a Trek headquarters. Now, if we go and take a look at the overhead view here, what we're going to see is before we had all these offices around the perimeter, now what we've got is we've got this nice kind of uh, presentation area up on top where we've got a, uh, you know, a little Trek video uh, looping. Now we've got also these conference rooms that are on both sides here. And the entire floor has been changed over from a, an open office with uh, some, you know, closed offices around it to a uh, museum of sorts. So it's got all of the history of Trek with their bikes out here and we can walk through and let's just hit one button. That's going to take us into the space. So just like with any one of these tours, you get a great understanding of the floor plan as well as being able to do a deep dive right in and do a walkthrough. And so we can see once we're in here now that we've got this, you know, exposed ceiling plan, which is a lot of the more modern tech offices are, are doing now. And uh, we've got the bikes all the way throughout the entire space. We've got, uh, you know, a lot of pictures of Trek and all of the glorious races that they've been involved in. And we can walk through this entire thing and get a, uh, a nice understanding of exactly how this change in design and layout uh, impacts the current building and makes it far more um, desirable for somebody like Trek to take it over and make it their own because they can see the possibilities involved in it and uh, do a full walkthrough and a tour of it before anybody has done anything at all, uh, which is we found a bit more impactful than just doing some static renderings because you actually have full maneuverability and uh, the ability to walk through the space. So, you know, once again, put it on auto tour here and, you know, we can start getting a, a really nice view of different aspects of the building that have been, you know, redesigned and mocked up to fit in line with what it is that Trek needs and desires in, in new headquarters, uh, since their current headquarters is not suiting them. In this next uh, property, this is a uh, abandoned building that was, it's a historical building in Chicago in an urban development area. And it's been vacant for a couple of decades. Uh, it's completely a health hazard to walk into uh, because there's uh, no electricity, no lights, uh, cables uh, hanging all over the place, um, tearing out walls. And so obviously you can't take a photograph of it in this state and try to market and sell it as uh, future apartments. And so we worked with the client to develop a quick tour of this property. And what that allowed them to do is build their listing page, their website, and uh, use it for an unlimited number of renderings, uh, both for the floor plans and the um, uh, 3D Explorer uh, to walk through it and uh, see these apartments. And they were able to pre-lease nine of the 24 units while they still were cleaning out the building just two months into the renovation. Yeah, and the, the, the building absolutely was a uh, health hazard. You could not you could never bring somebody in there with the state that it was in. And then once again, we come back to what are your other options? Well, currently, you know, uh, a lot of people would probably look at something and say, well, let's get a couple of renders of, you know, a two-bedroom unit of a four-bedroom unit. Uh, let me get a render of what the outside would look like uh, with the updated mural on it. And uh, what we're able to achieve with uh, VR and reconfiguring these spaces is, uh, is the ability to interact with, those, with the model 
and to view it in any way that we like, see it with all the windows in there, you know, look around, look from above, uh, move around and explore it as if we're actually in the building itself. And so we can take a look at the floor plan mode. And once we're in here, we can pan, we can zoom in, and we can see we've got a two bedroom and we've got a one bedroom unit. And just by clicking on the one bedroom, it's gonna you know, drop us right in. And so now that we're in here, once again, just like with all of the other tours that we were showing, we can go into a floor plan view. We can get a really great understanding of what this one bedroom looks like, where the layout of the, the bathroom is, the kitchen, the living room, and the bedroom, of course. And uh, we can see this by rotating around, or we can jump right in, just jump into the kitchen. And then once we're in here, we can take a look around. We can just click once on the ground if we want. And that will take us to all the different viewpoints and let us walk throughout the virtual model wherever we want. Or once again, just hit a button in the upper right-hand corner, and that'll take us to each of the different viewpoints that are of interest. And let's come back out. So we can go from the interior of the model. Oh. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> can you bring that back up again? Sorry. That's all right. Mm -hmm. I need to fix that little problem. Okay. And we'll just go back out to the fourth floor. Click on the two bedroom, just to highlight the differences between the one bedroom and the two bedroom. And you can see how different the um, color is already from the previous unit. So we've got a different colored floor. We've got different colored walls. The layout is completely different. So we come through here. We've got the living room over here. Come take a look at the office. Come look around. Click on the bedroom. Go straight into the bedroom and see what this looks like. And then ultimately, once again, go to the floor plan view and see how the layout is of the entire unit from above. In terms of repositioning a property, this was a Chase Bank within uh, four stories of uh, office space above, or actually three stories of office space above. And you can see the graffiti, you can see the lights hanging down, uh, walls broken out, uh, completely vandalized. And so there's no way, again, to market this property for future use. And so we then built a quick tour of this for the client. And it allows them to explore the entire property uh, inside and out for all of uh, all four floors. Yeah, so you can see we can take a look at the building. No, no graffiti, no broken windows. I can look down into the courtyard, see what that's like, because this is fairly unique. It's an open area inside the middle of the building. And then let's just go take a look at the second floor. And so once again, we're taking a look at the second floor plan here, second floor floor plan. We can see where all the doors are, where all the windows are, we can see where all the offices are. And then we'll just start off the elevators outside. Or I didn't press it one. There we go. Start up there. We'll walk over here. Just take a look across. And we can see the entire layout of the building here. And then we can walk into the offices and do a full walkthrough. And the nice thing about this is, you know, as we stated earlier, uh, this entire uh, this entire you know building has been so vandalized that there's lights hanging from the ceilings, graffiti everywhere, this broken glass, the carpets are stained and pulled up in areas, and uh, clearly it's not a property that you're going to be able to take somebody into and show the art of the possible and what it's going to look like after it's been fixed up and renovated. 
which is where a VR tour comes in and really helps to, to sell the property and helps you to, uh, to market it, to show it off in its best light and uh, what it would look like after all the renovations are done. So in summary, we have <clears throat> shown that market trends are impacting the various uh, property sectors. You know, hotel and retail segments are under a lot more stress. Uh, the need for industrial is increasing. And the future status of offices is definitely uh, unclear, but it seems to be on the decline uh, given the trends that are happening. And then, of course, uh, as demonstrated, VR can accelerate the process of reconfiguring, repurposing, and reimagining all your properties, providing an ease of visualization, uh, accelerated reconfiguration process. We can do what if scenarios in a matter of days. Uh, both uh, traditional and cutting edge marketing materials can be used uh, for both physical spaces, leasing offices, and your marketing materials. And then the same project can be used through the entire life cycle of a property. One of the key things is that the sooner that the virtual reality is used uh, during a property, uh, during the design phase, permits, uh, raising capital, um, all that can be done uh, prior to construction. And then during the construction phase, starts your pre-leasing and pre-sales. And then after construction, continue on with uh, ongoing leasing and sales, as well as property management or asset management. And so the overall, each time you use the 3D model over and over again for different uses, it's a very small incremental cost to repurpose the same uh, model for different purposes. So the result is a uh, reduced risk, and then of course an increased uh, uh, potential uh, for an accelerated cash flow, especially when you're able to pre-lease or pre-sell 95 to 100 percent of the units before construction is complete. So I was wondering if you, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post them in the forum. Right. Well, thank you again for your time and hope you have a good day. Thanks.